Ken McMillan, you can start. Hi, Jimmy. Ken McMillan from the Times Herald Record. Hi, how you doing, sir? Good, Jimmy. Uh, what are your quick thoughts headed into uh, UTSA this weekend? Uh, we're just excited for another chance to c compete, really. Um, just another chance to get a win. Uh, it's hard coming off a, off a loss, but, you know, that's in the past. We're forgetting about it, and we're really looking forward to another chance to just get a win. Yeah, can you elaborate on that? I was going to ask you. Uh, I mean, uh, you have all that preseason. You have all that hype going into the opener, and then you come out and lose the opener. How tough is it to overcome that? Uh, I mean, it's definitely not what you want, especially, you know, like you said, there's such a long buildup, but, you know, we got in the film room, we correct the mistakes, and then you got to have short-term memory about it. And so we got past that pretty quick, and we're just focused on the next week. And we play a lot more football games uh, coming up here soon. So, Can you summarize in general what it is that did not happen last weekend that uh, you needed to fix this week? Yes, sir. Uh, I think what it really boiled down to was just communication and Mr. assignments is really what hurt us the most. Uh, I think going into this week, if we'll just play with good fundamentals, good eyes, uh, communicate with each other, you know, we got a lot of guys who care. So we're getting in, getting extra work, you know, in the meeting room, making sure we're all on the same page, making sure everyone knows their assignments up to date with the new changes and everything. So I think that was the biggest uh, mistake we made last week. And that's the biggest thing we're correcting going into this week. Is that a product of getting the front seven working together for the first time? I'm sorry, could you repeat the question? Uh, is is yeah. that a product of the front seven working together for the first time? What do you mean by that? Just on the field, sir? Just Yes, sir. Working. Okay. Um, yeah, yeah, certainly. Certainly. For a lot of guys, too, it was, our, it was for myself included, it was the first start. So, you know, going into it, you got some nerves and then. You know, and then it just becomes muscle memory. So definitely, I think that factors into it too. Uh, a lot of guys seeing the light for the first time. And so that's just what we're looking forward to correcting. Thanks, Jimmy. Yes, sir. Thank you. Joe. Hi, Jimmy. Joe Iacono with GoBlackKnights.com. How are you doing this afternoon? I'm doing well, sir. How are you? Good. Um, hey, uh, so UTSA quarterback Frank Harris uh, obviously is a really strong weapon for them. Um, you know, dual threat quarterback, led the team in rushing last week with 63 yards on eight carries, as well as his ability to throw the ball. He threw for 337 yards, I believe, last week. Um, so what kind of strategies are you guys using? What kind of threats does he present to the defense? And, you know, maybe you can't completely shut him down, but kind of what are you guys going to try and do to uh, at least contain him so that he doesn't hurt you guys with both his arm and his legs? Yes, sir. So that goes back to just like uh, playing with the best fundamentals, playing with good eyes. I mean, schematically, we're really not changing much, whatever, you know, whatever coach Woody has on the docket. And, and, you know, we believe that he, he'll call as close as he can to a perfect game. We really trust in his system and the, and the coaches we have up in the press box. And so schematically, uh, we're not changing much. We're just going to play football. You know, everyone's going to play with great effort. Not worried about that. It's going to uh, coach Woody will call a great game. We're not worried about that. I think what it boils down to is playing with good fundamentals, playing with our assignments um, and just communicating well. Good stuff. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Jimmy, one more. You mentioned before that was your first start. What was, what was that like for you? Uh, yes, sir. So it was, it was really exciting. Um, I've been blessed enough for my past two years to, get some get some uh, playing time on special teams in last year and uh some of the games we were up by a little bit to get on some um defense as well um so it was, it was really exciting you know it's kind of what you work for uh throughout your whole college career is to get your first start and so that was really exciting for me but then you know um it was really just focus on the ball game so you know after the nerves set off it was really like I said before just muscle memory and it was really exciting it was really fun to play at, uh with, like all the guys going going through the process together seeing everyone who, you know, we came in as freshmen together all out on the field at the same time. Yeah. What's it like to be playing before a home crowd this Saturday? Oh, it's exciting. There's nothing like Mikey stadium. And, you know, it's really cool. The other people who, you know, are on your left and your right and your, you know, in your class at eight in the morning, you know, coming out and supporting you. It's, it's really a cool feeling. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, sir. Awesome. Thank you, gentlemen.